From the partnership's very beginning, we understood that establishing an organization to revitalize government service was no small undertaking. But we also recognized that it was vitally important to the health of our nation. In 2001, we hit the ground running with what seemed like a simple mission, to inspire our country's best and brightest talent to pursue federal service careers. What we quickly realized, however, is that inspiration is only part of the equation and that we needed to improve the way government managed its talent, too. Now, in our second decade, we continue to successfully advance a combined approach of thought leadership and program activities that tackle the barriers to building a first-class government workforce. We also have broadened our reach to include political appointees, training and equipping them to successfully lead a workforce of more than two million public servants. The future of our nation and our global competitiveness depends on the quality of our government and its workforce. We are not about whether government should be bigger or smaller. Rather, we promote smarter, more effective government. Over the next five years, we will continue to help agencies identify and recruit the right and best talent. We will focus on leadership to help ensure that our government's workforce is led by the very best career and political executives and that these leaders are committed to creating engaged, results-oriented employees. And we will promote the need for system reforms that encourage best management practices. Fostering a network of leaders committed to more effective government will also be a critical part of our work. We will continue to convene and mobilize stakeholders from the business, academic, and nonprofit sectors, alongside innovative agency leaders to help drive change across government. We have defined five strategic areas of impact that are focused on ensuring our government has the best talent, develops its leaders, and engages its employees. We educate students and career professionals about federal jobs and internships, and we work directly with agencies to improve their recruiting and hiring practices. We work tirelessly to champion public servants to inspire others to take a second look at federal service careers. We pursue targeted engagements with individual agencies in addition to offering government-wide programs to develop leaders and engage employees. We promote the need for improved metrics and data to drive decision-making. And we work with legislators on both sides of the aisle as they seek to reform current management processes. Finally, we walk the talk. As a result, the Nonprofit Times recognized the partnership as one of the top five nonprofits to work for nationally. We are viewed across sectors as an objective, reliable actor with the expertise, proven success, and staying power necessary to transform government. We don't attempt to do government's job. Instead, we partner with government and external stakeholders to promote strategies that help agencies hire and retain the brightest, most promising individuals. We facilitate public-private collaborations to help public servants develop, innovate, and lead. We also equip agencies with tools to hold themselves accountable for progress and help them improve when they miss their goals. And we promote the valuable work civil servants perform every day on behalf of our nation. Our dynamic board of directors is comprised of leaders from government, business, and academia who invest their expertise in our organization's success. Finally, our deep relationships within government, highly respected programming, and solid reputation as a change agent position us to continue strengthening our government to better serve all 310 million Americans. Broadly, we quantify our success by measuring the overall health of government through our Best Places to Work rankings. Since the first rankings were released in 2003, they have created a baseline for agencies to compare themselves against and allow leaders to gauge employee satisfaction and commitment. Organizationally, we regularly convene a cross-functional operational planning team 
to review and report on our performance against short and long-term measures of success for each of our defined levers of impact. This allows us to be responsive in our approach and make adjustments as necessary. Ultimately, institutionalizing change is critical to our long-term success. To date, as a result of our recommendations, we have seen 26 pieces of legislation passed to improve the management of government. In addition, the Office of Management and Budget now requires agencies to include employee engagement improvement plans with their budget submissions. We are not a government or corporate entity. Instead, we leverage our third-party credibility as a nonpartisan, nonprofit organization to drive transformational change across government and develop its most important asset, its people. While there is no shortage of organizations that strive to affect policy around issues such as health, sustainability, literacy, social welfare, and the arts, what is often overlooked is government's ability to effectively implement these policies. We believe that simultaneous investments in our government's capacity on leadership, efficiency, efficacy, and morale will accelerate progress across all of these issues. As the only organization dedicated to improving government's overall effectiveness, we bridge administrations, provide continuity, and bring a singular focus to reform in a way that does not exist inside government. Since 2001, we've trained more than 3,000 leaders from approximately 50 federal agencies through our Center for Government Leadership, with 98% reporting they are more effective. Our best places to work in the federal government rankings serve as the most transparent performance metric for government employee satisfaction. We've created an online resource for individuals pursuing federal jobs and internships that receives more than 40,000 monthly visitors and is permanently featured on the federal government's official job website. Our Samuel J. Heyman Service to America Medals highlights contributions of exceptional civil servants and serves as the premier awards program for federal employees. We've considered nearly 5,000 nominations and honored more than 330 individuals and teams. We've successfully championed more than 26 pieces of legislation designed to improve the management and operations of government. Also, the Nonprofit Times recognized the partnership as one of the top five nonprofits to work for nationally. And every year, we reach millions of people with our message about the extraordinary work the government does on their behalf. While most constituencies engage with government around public policies, they often overlook the ability of federal agencies to execute those policies effectively. Yet no business could operate successfully under the constraints that our government faces. It often has no budget, it has a staff that isn't treated as a real asset, and it has short-term political leadership that doesn't view its job as actually improving the operational performance of their agency. The need is great, but there is no field of giving dedicated to improving our government because the public, businesses, and foundations assume government should be fixing itself. But it's not. Despite these challenges, the partnership has earned a reputation as an effective actor on government management issues, including leadership, innovation, and employee engagement. And we continue to advance a combined approach of research program activities, and community building to transform how our government operates and strengthens its workforce. Approximately 4,000 political appointees oversee a workforce of 2.1 million. With an average tenure of 18 to 24 months and responsibility for a slew of policy priorities, most appointees lack formal training and have little time or motivation to learn the nuances of managing in the federal government. Recognizing that our government does very little to prepare incoming leaders to succeed in these unique positions, 
the partnership has developed and piloted a curriculum that aims to improve the quality of presidential appointee leadership. Delivered by notable faculty, the sessions cover the unique elements of leading in the federal space, such as ethics and optics, understanding the federal budget process, working with Congress, and managing the career political interface. Additional resources will allow us to meet a critical need and scale time-sensitive training to equip the top three to 400 political appointees with management and operations responsibilities to be more effective leaders. Just as it matters in the private sector, high quality senior leadership is critically important to the health and continued success of our government. With additional resources, the partnership could invest in the onboarding and development of the nearly 7,000 senior career executives who oversee the federal workforce. Too often, government does not invest enough in this area. So you have individuals who rise in the ranks based on their technical expertise, but who lack the management skills needed to effectively lead and achieve agency goals. We could also develop metrics to help government leaders better understand the quality of their talent, return on training investments and other workforce issues so they can make informed, strategic investments in these key areas that drive improved performance. Together, these efforts will go a long way to improve the satisfaction and engagement of federal employees and result in more productive and results-oriented government.